Hi guys, welcome back. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. I had a lot to be thankful for this year. And I even got to see one of my foster daughters that I haven't seen in forever. And she came over with her little boy. It was so nice. So today we're going to be doing a holiday naughty and nice list. The rules for this. I'm not doing individual uh, reviews. I'm going to leave a link up on the right side. You see it up there. And that will lead to the playlist for all of the reviews that I've done. I own every one of these pencils. I've used every one of these products. I've done reviews on, I would say, 90% of them. And I'll tell you which ones I didn't. Just do a physical review. I've reviewed them to myself. So none of these have been sponsored. I did not allow any sponsors to come on to uh, this video. I have to say, this is my opinion, my mine alone. And if you disagree or agree, everybody's entitled to an opinion. So I respect yours if you could respect mine. So let's begin. It's going to go fast. I have a lot of products to show you. Well, first off on my nice list is Starjoy Gold Edition. And of course, do I have to say more? I designed it. So this is on the nice list. I have a lot of pencils on my desk. You're going to hear a lot of shuffling around. Mark Art. I only have the 48 Mark Art, but they are definitely on my nice list. They came out with the 120 this year. These are Naomi pencils. I've always loved Naomi, and I was really happy when I saw Mark Art was the same. Now, you could tell that Mark Art is the same because you could see corm color right there, and that's Naomi. Tayona. While these pencils are nice, they're inexpensive. I'm not putting them on the nice list because they are a little bit cheaper. They're not as bright as some of the other colors, so they would fall to the bottom of my recommended list. So I'm going to put this on the naughty list. But if you have the Tayona, they're not horrible pencils. They're just not the same as the other pencils that I'm going to be showing you. Karen Dosh Pablo's. I'm going to put this on the nice list, although I haven't used them in a really long time. I want to revisit them this year. I've gotten very used to the way a oil pencil lays down. I don't know if these are wax or oil. Karen Dosh has a very good reputation. I haven't used these a lot. In fact, I've had them for a very long time. I was a little bit uncomfortable using them when I first started out, but as I've gotten used to the feel of different pencils, these were okay. Would I put it high on my list? No, not really. I wouldn't tell you you were buying a bad pencil. One of my newest pencils, and this is a watercolor pencil. I really should have put it in with the watercolor stuff. This is Himmy by uh, Grabby, and I love these pencils. I'm about to, I haven't put it out yet, but they're coming out with a demo. These are watercolors. They're so pretty, and the packaging gets a 10 plus. This is a really cool magnetic case that is a very nice quality. It is cardboard, though. Don't think it's plastic, but it just is a very good design. And the pencils work really nice. These pencils are not in any particular order. They're not in any particular order. It's just the way I pulled them out of my closet. So we have the Art and Fly 72. I thought they were coming out with another set. They did give hints a couple of months ago that there will be another set coming out. I haven't seen it. Maybe somebody else has things come up and I haven't checked, but Art and Fly 72 is definitely on my nice list. Indra watercolor pencils. I, I remember doing a review on these and liking them. They are a little bit bright for my taste. They're, they're very uh, child-oriented, uh, floral, too floral for me, And but they do come with some interesting colors, and they have the neon watercolors, which were very interesting. This goes on my nice list, but I would keep these towards younger kids. Amazon Basics are definitely on my nice list. They're nicely priced. These pencils mimic Prismacolor. So if you really like Prismacolor and you don't really like Prismacolor's price, these colors match Prismacolor. <laughs> Just wondering if Prismacolor knows. The Magic Fly, I've used these a lot. The Magic Fly watercolor pencils, they are definitely on my, my nice list. Decent price, and they're 72. I have not used this. We're getting high up on in, in the pile. I have not used these pencils 
as much as I really should. It's 120 colors. I didn't even do a review on these, but I've played with them and I really like them. They're still in perfect condition. These pencils are going out as one of the Sunday giveaways. Um, they're going to be a wrapped gift. And it's not because I don't like them. It's that it's another 120 pencil set and I don't need it. So I'll let you take a look at the pencils. Here's the greens. I've swatched these. They're smooth. They're creamy. Here are the reds. There's a lot. And this is one of the reasons I didn't need so many of these colors because I have so many floral sets. Now I'm kind of in the market for some of the muted colors and some of the odd colors. These, these unfortunately are pretty common colors. And you have your more greens and browns. It's a nice, it's a nice set. It has everything in it. And it's better than some of the cheaper pencils that are floating around there. Andy's old deli pencils, I'm going to put on the very nice list. He doesn't sell them, unfortunately, anymore. You can get these off of AliExpress. They are always a good choice. They color beautifully. I have like three sets of them, and I'm not parting with any of them. Okay, we have the Indra Macaron, and I can already tell you they're all over the place. Well, I'll put them back in the right order later on. They fit weird in the box, but these pencils are so pretty and they really color nicely. It's the macaron set. Well, it's the pastel set and the muted color set. And I believe this is the only, yeah. And this is the 36 set. Okay, so we have Sweet Art. This is on the naughty list because uh, they're nothing special. Really, they're just there. I didn't have any good or bad thoughts about it at all. It's just a cheap pencil. So I'm going to have to put this on the naughty list. This, I love this set. Colors of the World by Crayola Colored Pencils. It's the skin tone set. Grab it off Amazon. I know they sold out uh, a while ago. I haven't checked to see if they're there. Love these pencils. They have a really great array of colors. You could do just about every skin tone. Now they are Crayola, but Crayola has upped its game a little bit. And they're while they're very inexpensive pencils, if you want to start teaching younger kids to do portraits, these are a very nice set uh, for them to have. And it's a fun set because they can ha have a pencil that matches them. Ship their farben. And don't make fun of the way I say it. I know it's cheapier Farben, the Farbens. I have two sets of these. I have the brand new one and I have an older set. I highly recommend these pencils. They just are always good, reliable, and creamy. So they're always going to be on my good list. And I've done many a picture in these. Colleen. Colleen is probably a little bit less known. They are very floral they're very childlike. They're a little bit expensive, but the quality of this set is got that going on for them. The quality is very good. So they are available on Amazon and I think eBay. They're not the easiest pencils in the world to find. Okay, the Lyra. I remember me doing the review on these. These are fat pencils and they are the skin tones. I love the Lyra fat tones you get really nice coverage with these they're very smooth and creamy and look at the colors they're gorgeous and just check out this pencil this just having this pencil is really cool so mine are marked because they don't come with any markings on them marco Ren renoir's i've got this small set on the day that i got this small set i swatched them and ran to go get the larger set which I have over on the other side of the room. I love these pencils. These are smooth and creamy. Marco puts out different lines of pencils and they're very different from each other. They're cheaper pencils, which are the Renaissance? Correct me, my bit of long night. <laughs> they're the cheaper set. The Renoirs are their upper quality set. And then they do put out some, you know, trendy, nice box set pencils that are almost the same as these. I heard they're not the same colors. They're very expensive for a lot of packaging. So if I had that, I might've put it on the naughty list. But because I have the Renoirs 
and the bigger set of Renoirs, they are definitely on the nice list. Arteza will always and forever be on my naughty list. Sorry, Arteza. But later on in this video, I'm going to surprise you because I've sort of uh, changed my tune on some of their products. So although I don't like their pencils and I don't like their paper, their, uh, um, their sketch paper, there are some products by Arteza I do like. Next to all my Brett Futter squares, and I swore I was never going to use them, and now I'm missing one. I don't know where I put it. It's got to be in with my working pencils, and I did use them. I originally had bought this because I thought the pencils were beautiful, and I want just wanted this set for the sake of owning it. I have broken down, and I have used some of these pencils, and they're really, really good. So while I don't like broad fun of pencils... I do like the Brett Funnest squares. I just don't like the round ones. Ah, my Pastelos. These are definitely on my nice list. They may be difficult for you to find, but just to show them to you again, I did a whole review on them. I will put it in the playlist. They're gorgeous and they're very creamy. So kudos to the people. They come out of Germany, Poland or Germany, one or the other. And they're gorgeous. So I am very happy to own this set. And yes, don't judge me. I own a lot of pencils. Okay, this is one. This is my smaller Naomi set. And I usually color out of my larger set. This often gets lost. Except for this one. <laughs> I do have the full Naomi. Derwent Color Soft. Now, you want to know something? I've just started using these again i hadn't used them almost since the day i got them and i don't know why because they're smooth and they're creamy and they're they're just wonderful pencils and i have no idea why i never used them before well i have you could tell that i i have used them but i haven't used them quite as much as i really should be using them so i might do a video using these they have really nice beautiful colors and they're not children's colors so you could really do some nice adult artwork with them. Here's my big Marco Renoirs. I said I took them out. They're really nice. Cray art. Cray art is no cheaper than any of the sets that I'm showing you. I'm not. They're on my naughty list because they're not very good quality. They're Black Barrel, which means everybody under the sun has this set because these are just sold. Crayot just put their name on them. It's not a any big deal. So many other, it's a Black Barrel set. And I've showed you many, many times how many pencil companies sell Black Barrels. So these are on my naughty list. I'm not recommending Black Barrels anymore. I have the Ram Refine and I did a review on the Ram Refine. And they didn't get such great reviews because they were a duplicate of another pencils. And so they're copies of other pencils that are out there. We, we did discover that it was almost like pencil to pencil with other sets. They're on the naughty list too. Sorry, Ramba Fine. Now, they're not bad pencils. If you have them, they're not horrible pencils. Don't be upset. Oh my God, you have something terrible. They're just dupes of another pencil set probably bought you know open stock and just shoved in a box with no consideration another one for the naughty list is definitely the derwent academy shame on them for even producing this set these are garbage they don't particularly color well they're, that's what they are another black barrel set and i don't know why derwent would even put such a thing out and they were not even good to color with with so many other great things coming out of Derwent. Now, I'm going to put this down. I just did a review on the Dragon. Here's my Monarch. I do recommend the Black Widow. They're smooth. They're creamy. Um, they have nice colors. The only thing I could say about them is that their pencil sets are not full sets. You're buying into a gimmick. Make sure you look at the pencils to make sure there's not too many duplicate colors of pencils that you've already had. But they just came out with the Dragon, and while the Dragon isn't that dragony, they are decent pencils. They're very floral. So I was hoping for some goth, hard, dragon, 
fire. There's a lot of pinks and purples in this set. And that's the only negative thing about it. So that's the whole entire line of Black Widow products. They're on my nice list. This is another one that made it highly onto my nice list was the Marco Square. It's a nice thing to own. They're very pretty. I don't color with them because they're another set that is that upside down? No. Um, they're another set I did buy for collecting because they were so pretty. That's, and I just, of course, they're not in order now, but I just thought they were so pretty and they are squares. So they're a little bit thinner than the Brut of Funner squares. They're not the same pencils, but they definitely held my eyesight. They were nice candy. I only own three sets of pastels. So I've got the gallery on my nice list. Do you remember a couple of videos back? I did the Santa with the tree in the background. Well, a little hint. I didn't film that. I just kind of showed it to you at the end. I did the background in the soft pastels and I love them. I'm missing one. Hey, hmm. I don't know where that one is. And I've got the Paul Rubin set. Honestly, when they work, they're good. When they don't work, they can ruin your picture. I don't like them. I'm not giving this set away. Some of the colors are creamy. Some of them, like the greens and the orange, did really pour on my review. So I'm sorry, this set is going on my naughty list. The third set I have, which I can't seem to find here right now, I also showed it to you when I did the video, is the same uh, company that does, that's the Mango, and that's the same one that does the Gallery. They're um, water soluble. And I definitely put that on my nice list. In fact, I'm putting it on my wish list to Santa. That that's something I'm going to get this year is the larger set of the Mungyo. Mungyo. I know I'm going very fast. Um, here are those Mungo. Here are those Mungayo uh, water soluble that I was talking about before. Excellent. I highly recommend them, including the especially the white because I got some tricks to show you in the near future with the white on uh, over pencils, what it could do for your clouds. Okay, so I'm moving into some of the inks and watercolors. I'm going to say I love the Magic Fly water paper. It's not available. Oh, well, so it's on my naughty list until they can get this out into the public. I love their paper. Okay, the Paul Rubens paper, I did not like the for watercolors. I love them for pastels. So just keep that in mind. They are on my nice list for pastel pa paper. It's very, you could see, it was okay for watercolor too, but you could see that it really has beautiful tooth. And the only reason I don't like it for watercolors is that it's not 100% cotton and it did get a little puddly. That's what non-cotton paper does. Okay, the poor uh, Rubens uh, watercolors, I am, it's definitely on my nice list. I love them. Comes in a very good quality box. And you can see they are very well used now <laughs> since I've had them. So they're definitely on my nice list of the beautiful array of colors. The Derwent watercolor collection. Now I bought this to test out some of their products. And their blocks are fantastic. I know I'm missing um, the pencils. I have them in another box. But this is where I keep my blocks. Excellent. They're ink blocks. A little pricey, but worth the money in every way. Love them. So the next one I have. I really like this set. I hope it has its name on it. This is the first one I got. Oh, they don't have their name. Never mind, they don't have their name. Shame on them. Bad packaging. Can't buy it again unless I look it up. And of course, the Intense pencils by Derwent are fantastic. Missing one of those too. 
but love these. I don't use them enough, but I'm this year and now that I'm doing mixed media, they will get used a lot. This is coming up. It's a product by Glistra. And it's this is one of my sponsors for the giveaways. And I haven't really done the... It, it's coming up. I have a, a picture that I did. These are black markers that when you turn them towards the light, one direction they're black, the other direction they're colorful. They're very cool. I recommend them for anybody who wants to get a novelty gift for a child. They will love that. Another thing they have is the Glistra Light light catcher marker and this is very glow in the dark and i think any kid would just love it it's they're located on glistra.com they don't sell in on amazon now we have the hippie crafter this is on um amazon also they do sell off of uh, hippiecrafter.com their watercolor brush pens are really super nice very nice people too so I do highly recommend these and also color it. it has a really nice set, which I haven't dug out because I have so much on my desk, but I use them all the time. You guys see me using them all the time. Their watercolor brush set too is excellent. Now I'm going to show you some paper. I've got the Art and Fly black sketch paper. Really nice if you're playing around. Uh, the paper is sketch quality. It's not really thick, but if you're playing around, this paper is excellent. And what I loved about this paper is it does fit in my printer. I have to do a little bit of cutting, but it will go through my printer. So I can print anything and it'll show up with the black on it. Hard to see. You get rid of your lines, definitely. But this paper works really nicely. It's the only black paper I have that will go through my printer. Then we have the huge one by Hippie Crafter. And this is their watercolor paper. Again, it's not, um, it's a cold press. It is not 100% cotton, so I'm using it now for uh, pastels. And when I want a really big paper, this is the one. And I believe this comes with two in the package. Really nice. On my naughty list is the U.S. Art Supply watercolor paper. It comes with two in the pack. Honestly, I was very disappointed with this. I'm usually very happy with the U.S. Art Supply products. Um, this was not 100% cotton. That might be what's turning me off to it. But I've used U.S. Art Supply so many times I couldn't even count how many of their products that I have. This is the first time I've been slightly disappointed. But for a pastel, it works really nice too. Nice and toothy. Okay, we have the Hippie Crafter sketch paper. This is a sketchbook. Uh, I've been using it a lot. Don't mind what I've produced. It is a sketch quality paper, so you're not going to do any really big development on it. It's a nice bright paper. Um, it holds all the mediums, though you have to do you do have to put something underneath. It will go through the paper, as you can see over here. And I'm going to have such a crash because I have so much on my desk. I'm going to take some of this stuff off, or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. The next, I have the Canson watercolor paper. Fantastic, excellent. You can see I'm just about out of it. I only have a couple more sheets, maybe two more sheets of it. Highly recommend. It wasn't even that bad. It's $15.99. Not that bad of a price for such a high quality watercolor paper. This is my paper of choice for marker. When I'm doing my own uh, marker art, it's nice and big. It's Strathmore Bristol, 24 sheets. It's smooth. You get such an excellent coverage with marker on this. This is definitely my number one choice. For okay, we've got four, four tools that made it to my nice list. My Taiho, I've had this one for years. It's excellent. I would give it a 10 out of 10. The torque on it is great. It's starting to get a little dull because I've just been using it for years. And I'm going to probably end up buying a new one very soon. Although this one still is my workhorse and it works really well. The Jarlink is my favorite electric. I'm not going to give it high marks for working without the cord. It, it's the battery. It just doesn't give the pencil sharpener enough torque. But when you, uh, when you plug this thing in, it's a different pencil sharpener. 
and it makes the best tips. They're like little needles. This is perfect for um, the Starjoy pencils, the uh, thin barreled thick cord pencil, and you get a very nice tip. My number one handheld pencil sharpener absolutely recommend somebody turned me on to, in one of my subscribers turned me on to these this year i will say this is absolutely worth the six bucks that i bought it comes with two extra blades so i'm about to change up these blades and this baby is ready to go again highly recommended these these are my powerhouses these are what i use and you see them on my desk all the time my number one eraser is Afmat. I've had a couple of them. They work fantastic. They don't even need to be charged all that often. The only thing I could say is don't knock it off the desk. I've broken them as they've hit the ground. So they're a little fragile that way. I got smart this time and before I knocked it onto the ground, I put tape on it. So it really could take a little bit more because what happens is it hits the ground and it opens up and breaks. While it's opening up, it the plastic breaks. So hopefully if I knock this over, which I haven't, poo, 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 this has been great. It comes with the charger. It charges in just a few minutes and I get, it has 144 erasers and it's great. The one pencil sharpener that is making my no-no list, naughty, 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 is the Prismacolor. Now, if you come to me and tell me you were sharpening the Starjoy pencils in that pencil sharpener, bye-bye. I'm not doing anything for you. I'm replacing any pencils that have problems if, if it is the pencil. If you put a, a, just about any pencil into a Prismacolor pencil sharpener, they're going to break. They, it's notorious for breaking tips. It goes on the bottom of my no-no list. Okay. We've got Wink of Stella. I've got three of them, although I only have two in my hand. I have the silver, the clear, and the gold. These are absolutely fantastic for adding a little bit of sparkle onto your, your artwork. And I highly recommend these. These have had for probably about six months now, at least, and they're still going. And I just love them. Now, of course, I'm going to just add in some of my top pencils here. These are professional pencils. The Luminous Caran d'Ache is a top-notch pencil. I don't even have to tell you about that. It's not in the same category as most of the ones that I've mentioned today. It is a professional pencil. And I also have the, in here, Derwent Light Soft. This is another one that is... Just wonderful. So, of course, the, well, so one is Karen Dosh. The other one is um, Derwent, both professional pencils. Excellent. They're, they'll always be on, I think, everybody's nice list. When I see somebody who got the full set of these, I don't have the full set yet. But when I see it's definitely, bitch, I'm jealous. I'm going to stop here because I just looked, I just looked ahead and I've got another 20 to 30 minutes worth of video to show you guys. And the best is yet to come because I haven't shown you the one set that is now on my naughty list. Can you guess it? Let me know in the comments below. I will see you in part two. Take care. Bye-bye.